Eh? If God is spare and soul, is to have an impact on the management of public utilities in Nigeria. I drove into the National Stadium a few days ago. That's the National Stadium in Abuja, the one at the back where you have the indoor oh my god. Yeah, you know, there was a time that by the time we went back to the rainbow, trees were growing on the beach. Trees were, I mean, new trees that were I started to grow on the beach. It got the attention of the president. President said, what is this? They have to repair, they have to remove the entire house. And this is something that was built in 2002 3 for 64 billion by Julius Bell and County. What's wrong with us? If a father of the house says, look, times are tough, they are laid off in my, uh, in my office. If you feel like I'm being responsible, totally responsible father, that the little capital he has, he uses it anyhow. He goes to carry prostitutes, you know, he uses the rest of the apartment. That would be very responsible for the father to do. But I that that's what we're doing in our video. The indoor sport hall of the National Stadium is totally abandoned. The road that leads to the place is full of photo. The roundabouts, the, the, the bush in the roundabouts are this tall, something that has to be. The swimming pool, the Olympic size swimming pool that we need for Koja, for Koja is green with parajara. And uh, see, it's all, I don't know, see, all, when I say, when I talk to like this, all I just want is one person that will be angry enough to go out there and make a change. What the, the message we're passing across to the rest of the world is that these people don't deserve the money they have, no matter how they do. And therefore, when you go out and give the beauty to this related this, and they will be a they don't. Okay, fine, they can't take you. But the point is how many of you concern ourselves. This is not the current of our project. This is to say, that is because, what are we doing with it? And I'm not telling you. I'm telling you. So, the objective says that, therefore, the paper is expected to espouse fundamental principles, techniques and measures, methods that can ensure better application of resources for optimal results in the face of what? Building resources and ever increasing demand <laughs> for them. Wow. Uh, that's a very, very important part. Building resources, higher demand. How do you do that? Money is kept. A father is having more children. He marries the second wife, the third wife. Meanwhile, they just reduce his salary in the office. And you know that they just reduce his salary in the office. Fact, I don't pay more. You know that it's preparing itself for disaster. And that's what we are where we are, no? Right, okay, so um, let's look at this. What I'm looking in writing this book, How Europe of the Developed Africa, is that defined, defined development thought. And in that, in that definition, it became clear that indeed Africa will have to develop itself and not Europe. And what does he have to say in terms of that? He said, what then is economic development? He asked the question. He said, a, a society develops economically hmm, as its members increase jointly their capacity for dealing with the environment. He said, this capacity for dealing with the environment of the life, dealing with the environment, dealing with the environment. See, if there's one thing you remember from this discussion today. Let this word ring in your ear. Dealing with the environment. Deal with, can please repeat after me. Dealing with the environment. Dealing with the environment. Exactly. See, that is what development is about. So he said, the reason for dealing with the environment is what? It depends on the extent to which you understand the laws of nature. In bracket, science. How do you understand science? And on the extent to which they put that understanding in practice by devising tools, in bracket, technology. And on the manner in which work is organized. On the manner in which work is organized. 
Now, he said, this, the whole idea of development is about what dealing with the environment. He said, this is dependent on what? On how you understand the laws of nature. Science. And what? And how you are able to develop tools in order to deal with those laws of nature. And he said, he wanted us to say, and how the world is organized. Now, it took me a while for me to understand that last word. How the manner in which work is organized. What is man talking about? Perhaps in those days when, you know, in those days when, you know, as a socialist, they were always talking about labor, they were always talking about this and that and all that stuff. But it's only now just occurring to me that the manner in which work is organized is absolutely important. Why? Because the administrative manager is the one that will actually say, you do this, you do that, you do this. I don't know how the work in this hall has been organized over time. So let's even apply this definition to the world we are in right now. So, what are the laws of nature? The laws of nature says that this carpet will become dilapidated over time with use. This carpet will become dirty and it will be difficult for you to, to clean. Therefore, the understanding of the laws of nature is to say that you go. We don't want to put a carpet there that will give us problems in time. Can we put tiles or something that we can easily clean? Now we are talking. So the, the technology is there to give you the tiles. The people who put the tiles there, they know what they will do. Now, but however, when we're talking about the manner in which work is organized, we're saying that who is responsible for cleaning? Why should that be a big deal? Someone gets a salary. Someone gets a salary. You go to some of the uh, ministries. Uh, around the country, you see the way, and I'm saying that it's not even in Uganda. I was in several ministries in Uganda, in Kampala, in Tebe, not all of Kenya. Kenya to me looked like I felt like I was in London. One of the advantages that those people have is that you know there's a lot of Europeans going there every day, and people you know that even live there permanently. Therefore, everybody has to shape up. Don't say you're an African, that's how we like it in Africa. No, we don't like rubbish in Africa. <laughs> and we can make a change. So Rodney defined, he said, how do we deal with the environment? As an economist though, I always uh, extend that the definition of dealing with the environment a little bit Don't only look at the physical environment. It's also about how you understand your world, your political environment. The politics around you, the, politi the global politics as well. How do we stand? How does Nigeria stand in order for us to achieve the development we want? It's also about our social environment. We got to a point where we became, we became like mad dogs, each person backing on each other. No oh, Christian is good, the Islam is this, this one is this. How have we understood our social environment? Like Sam Angelo said, some, in 1960, around 1962 or thereabouts. When he was asked, he was told by uh, the great Zeke, he said, My friend, said he said, uh, the great Zeke. Let's forget our differences. And the great Sadhana said, Look, the issue is not to forget our differences, but to understand our differences. Let's understand each other's differences. Not like it. Don't forget it. Forgetting it is just okay. You can just feel it on yourself. No, well, let's forget that. No. You can't say, Well, let's forget when you know that inside you. Hey. So, can we, but can we understand each other's differences? That is the understanding of the social environment. To know where each person is coming from and say, I cannot judge you. How can anybody judge you based on where you were born, or the region you were born into? We can't judge ourselves on that. So I, don't, I, I said, it's not only your physical environment. If you understand the physical environment, okay, in, in Cuba, for example, you know, which was one of the biggest satellite towns, basically, an article came out in the Sunday Sun a few weeks ago. That said that there's no adequate provision, if any, for the disposal of garbage in Cuba. So what you have, you have all these boys that push the truck out around, and they come to your house and carry your this in. You know where they dump it? Where do they dump it? Anybody answer? Where do they dump the this thing? The garbage? Sir? The drainage. The drainage, sir. Now the drainage is through the river. So imagine all the waste generated in Cuba goes inside the river. Imagine the pollution. Then imagine the blockage 
when you need to turn breakfast in the clinic. And then the flood will turn. <laughs> and that's why when the flood came, that's why when the flood came, he said, What about our woman came and said, Ah, it is the God, the God that I have been. And he must need the seven, uh, 50 batteries. Ah. You know, and it's quite a matter. Okay, why are you sitting here? Okay, why can we get batteries to start the five years? How can we get batteries? He said, The batteries will be from Lagos. Ah. And I don't read five batteries in Lagos. And he said, They must be beautiful again. Oh, God. He said, This man is a former man. Why do you find a beautiful body from Lagos? Must not be more than 17 years. 50 of them to go and sacrifice to the God. So that is the Lord you do not have to. Of course, it's because people love many things. Of course, when my very good uh, friend you have never met, the man I respect so much, uh, Fashion Lab in Lagos, when he's talking, people criticize him. He says to Draconia, oh, he's, he's demolishing someone's house, which was built on, on, on the, uh, the drainage already. We need people who would actually uh, bring remote and uh, cause a change, people who would uh, face uh, the status quo and, and seek to change. So go on. So let's begin to look at some of the pictures. Let's see the picture of an SUV in an accident in Nigeria. Of course, we have it. Already we have, we, we have an ever increasing uh, scandal going on with this issue of SUV, bullet proof, no bullet proof, this and that. And with the way that some of the convoys on our big men is missing, the way they speak, in a lot of these exhibits have had accidents and at the end of the day, nothing happens. But do you know how much one of them is? I remember when the uh, lady actually was a uh, speaker, around my office, his convoy got into an accident because he just mad driving. And of course, when such a thing happens, those are accidents, one person died in the other car, the no driver was injured, the rest of the Nobody will wait. They move. <laughs> Around the times of campaign, when these big men go into all those towers, in fact, there was one somewhere in the kitty. When the big cover was coming like this, so, you know, one of the SUVs, and they made a turn. This guy was not concentrating. The guy just entered the people, killed one or two people, drove out and joined the rest of the convoy. Who cares? Those are the unsung. That we know how much we are using in terms of money. Now that is there, uh, under the bridge, you made on the four pass solar planet. Imagine the kind of activity under the Gerard Bridge, people who make fire, bonfire, and of course people are living and they stand up here. No, no. But imagine the kind of the bridge, cooking under the bridge. And she like said, you can't make voodoo and science. If you are making fire under the bridge, it will, over time, even bridge does burn. Over time, it will weaken the bridge. Mm. And of course, it took a time a while for the whole unification. A United Nations, uh, a United Nations uh, report says about 35% of Nigerians actually defecate outside. Or more, or is it 65? <laughs> Where there's no provision for bathrooms. Not even latrines. It's not only a Nigerian thing, in India also it's like that, but let's focus on the display. Open defecation, look at the pollution, look at those kind of bags there. The biggest invention that was ever made in medicine, what is it? Does anybody know? The biggest invention, the biggest invention in medicine, eh? I say to you today, was the cleaning up of the water system of you. Before that, they had the bubonic plague, they had this plague, they had that plague, the Irish plague. Millions were dying. The moment they were able to take care of the table water, of the underground water, and disinfect it, things started getting better. Now, does anybody know where this is? Where is it? Bus stop. Bus yeah, but where is that? Bus stop. Bus stop. Which bus stop? Which country? Which town? Eh? Abuja. Kaduna. So it has never been in Kaduna or Abuja, right? Is it beautiful? Is it not beautiful? <laughs> no, no, please. Let's think about it. Is it is it is it nice? It's not very beautiful. Huh? Very beautiful. Yeah, it's a good artwork, eh? It's a nice one. It's a nice one. Ah, so what are we talking about? <laughs> because you know, see, one day, and, anyway, anyway, let's let, 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 
when a government will use money to build buildings, and people will go there and put their constant and and, and then you tell them, this is this is them. In fact, when I did a bit of research, there's what is called visual pollution. In the, in the city of Sao Paulo in, uh, in Brazil, they banned every poster of every, every external advertisement. When I say you're coming with this neon line and this is beautiful, they banned everything. And they're democracy. Okay? This puts us in very bad light with the rest of the world. And Abuja, it's where this thing is. Abuja is a diplomatic city. I can't complain about it one day. A friend of mine is the uh, uh, media advisor to the Minister of State of Abuja. You know, I said, well, what is this? The guy go back to me and say, they said that it's the Amak that should do it. It's the local government thing. I said, well, we're not living in this town. The president lives in this town. OK, fine. The president, if he gets into his car, he doesn't see anything. He just flew like that. And of course, before the president comes and they will have cleared the road. So he can't understand that. And I was going to talk about that. That's why the responsibility is for me and you. You don't expect the president to see this. Well, how will he see it? If he's going to pass through this place like that, because they cleared the road. And how is he supposed to see it? But me and you, we have the president there, we have ministers. We have Parsec, we have directors, we have bankers, we have administrative, we have, eh, we have administrative managers. Mr. Victor, we have the guys there. It's a road to shout and say, hey, this is this is our befitting and of becoming and disgraceful. In a city like Abuja, our own Canberra, our own Brasilia, our own Milton King, our own Washington DC. I also, I also have, I also have to which we use hard-earned money to finance. It never was like this in the days of Henry Five. Not even the days of Adero. Not in the days of the days of the days of the Mandarin Salah Toga. Certainly not in the military days. They don't know you well. In military days, on that battle and the you come and trash the town like this. These days we go around, you see people who make on, on the pavements of Abuja, on the bridges, 080533, this thing, call number. Call number, call electrician, DJ, call DJ, 080. In a city, it is the temerity of using a spray, spray on that wall, where you want to it, you are not the one that provided the cement. It's actually the temerity. We've never been so undisciplined as the people. It's all part of the equation. If you don't enforce this thing, how do you expect your public utilities to maintain? This is a building on the way to my office. This is a... That's the fake ABC before the D1 was registered. You know, they had this red and black and this thing. They were always pasting all over the place. And you know, as much as this organization is a funny organization, at any point in time, they can just go from the face the entire beauty with this poster. Nobody is talking to anybody. We don't even know that. For that poster, on the street, this is CDM one. One of CDM one. These are the beauties of Abuja. These are all, all that the beauties. A cost seems to be a the man. Because that's the only thing where I can see. It's enough for one or two posters to come there and the next day somebody will meet you. When it comes like this, the cost is upon the man. Administrative managers. That one, I don't know, if, is there any administrative manager in Abuja, sir? Please. There are. Are any of them here? Please, any administrative manager from Abuja, please. Hands up. <laughs> the truth will be said. Okay, administrative manager from Abuja, please. <laughs> See, we cannot cheat me, like I said. Don't expect the president to do it. Don't even expect the minister of to see these things. 
the little we can do. I can't drive a stretch of Nandi as way expressway without seeing at least three men standing by the roadside, at times facing the road, urinating on my expressway. In the gutter in between, that one is a standard toilet. There's a gutter in between that expressway. That's where you should be going there. Take it, take it, do the number two. I'll move on. We've never had it so bad. You know, directional science. Somebody will block it with a political poster. This is says, go right. By the time you are finished done, do, done with this thing, you know whether it says, go right, go left, or stop. How would you have to that? When there's no old man, nothing is sacrosanct anymore, nothing is sacred. I would not like it. Okay, more of those people. Most of these pictures are pictures I did myself. Now, let's look at this. This is Maryland and Lagos. Hmm? This is Maryland Bridge in Lagos. I took that picture of the clean. And then you see some of the things that are here in Lagos. So, even the examples are here. This was the space of those that school. This was the state of state government. You can see that they are making efforts. This is the Maryland, this is Maryland bus stop in Lagos. Hmm? Compare that to what you saw about Abuja. This is not a political issue. I am not a member of any political party. When the man is good, I bet they say he's good. You understand, sir? You understand? Eh? Pastor Lambert, they say, we'll stop being like animals. You should be that. Lagos was like that. Maryland bus stop. Will a human being not stand in this uh, bus stop and feel, feel comfortable? That's a very large stop. This is a Tony bus stop. You see the people even clean up nice. This is a Tony. You can see that instead of those nonsense posters, you now tell me for an assessment and raise what? IPR. All of us are talking about diminishing resources. This is an avenue to make extra money. You want to advertise your bank, this is a bank, ATM card, you pay some money to the government. So why are we complaining that there's no money when we use our bus stop to do whatever we like? If somebody paid money there to do an assessment in those bus stops, not any fool cannot go there and put a poster there. If they put it, somebody will remove it because the man knows that look, I'm not getting value for the advertisement I'm doing. This is a pure local bus stop, Lagos. Look at that. See how pretty Lagos has become. Because this is another problem with some of the things to take a bit further. Not only that normal posters are posted, but the kind of images we are beaming into the minds of our people. This was said, my hater must die. <laughs> no, when you are beaming and you are saying that you have a violent country, I want you to have a violent country. If, a, if somebody leaves his house in the morning, and everywhere it goes, some say, this one must die, that one must die, this one must die, this one must die, How would you be about it? <laughs> okay, now, I'm looking at some images of... Now, that's the city of Dubai. Okay, these are some of my Nigerian friends in the city of Dubai. This place was a desert, but you can begin to see the way they say it. This is uh, the train in Dubai. The metro. Oh, I love the Dubai metro. Five years on, squeaky clean. Speak and span. Speak and span. The Sheikh Mohammed Ibn Rashid Al Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai, will come inside this train once in a while. In fact, you don't know who this is first class. He will stay in the popular side with his people. Ride one or two stops, come down and stop. Sheikh Mato tries himself. He doesn't even have a good left look at it. But he tries himself. But no, certainly he doesn't need six good left look at All that. So you can see how you can go to Dubai and enjoy the same. No, you know, so you see what? We are meeting our own testimony. When we go to Dubai, go to London, go to all these places and enjoy these things. And just to replicate a small one here, we put ourselves forward. I don't 
in this thing. This coming, if all they did, eh, in the red chambers, I think that's the same thing, and the green chambers, if all they did every day was to have it and do something about this thing that you people are trying to discuss about today, it is worth it. At times they will stand and say, I want to move a motion and that we should go and pay a, a, a coffee visit to our social member whose wife has just had a baby. Uh, on the time of the country, we are discussing in negatives. On the time of the country, I, I, I want to read to you. You are discussing the most important topic in Nigeria today, in this very world. That's what you are doing. Whether we are going to do something about it is a different world. But perhaps you can speak. They say a coward dies many times before his death. We can't be cowards. Let's speak of speak of first. Oh no, no, let's not this speak. Once in a while, let's get let's get things done. I drive on the road, I see people, they are eating sugar cane, they are eating uh, banana. They beat the thing out of the car. Big men, out of the car. Lovely chicks, babes, out of the car. A lot of times they, when I drop them, even some of them. Uh, Commercial drivers, why do you that I'm going to do it? And they know that it's bad. There was a time in this country you dare not do that. In this country. But look at us today. You don't know you were in Lagos. You just go anywhere, just go anywhere, just throw things. In Lagos, when there's sky, there's this all the You drive anywhere in Lagos, you face one way. And now, not only in Lagos, in some of the, in Oyo, uh, in the I think there is also like that now. Gradually, 